And you know, scientists are really excited about the great American eclipse. There is so much for them to study in those four and a half minutes. Here to explain the exciting science behind the eclipse this afternoon is Bob Flugfelder, also known as Science Bob, a teacher and an author. Science Bob, thanks for being here with me this morning. Appreciate it. Good morning from <laughs> Fredericksburg, Texas, Marky. And I'm a little jealous of your reporter in Dallas. They were getting a glimmer of sunlight there. And so far here, we haven't got that. You have, it does look a little cloudy behind you. You're in hill country for the big day. I got to ask you before we get to the science. I mean, is this, are you like a kid in a candy store right now? You must live for these kinds of moments. I have not, uh, I've not seen a total solar eclipse. So this is like especially exciting for me. And, and as a, uh, a scientist, this is great because there was a time when a solar eclipse would happen and people would run because they thought the gods were angry. Oh. And now here we are, people are coming from all over the world here uh, to see this event. So it kind of uh, tells you the impact of science uh, can have on something like this. Yeah, you make a good point. Yeah, now we're all running to it. So let's get down just to the basics of it for everyone who's not understanding exactly what's happening today. How and why do solar eclipses happen? Sure, so we get a lineup of the Earth and then the moon and then the sun It's in such a way that the moon will block out the sun. And I don't know if people appreciate how just unusual it is that the sun in our sky is the same size as the moon in our sky. So one is 400 times bigger, but the other is 400 times closer. Oh. It's a really, really unusual and, and rare sort of thing, even in our solar system. We don't know if there are, uh, are other planets that even have solar eclipses because of this alignment. Wow. What are some other interesting factoids like that that you think most people probably don't know about when it comes to these total solar eclipses? Well, probably, uh, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of interesting research has come out of it. For example, the element helium was discovered on the sun before it even was discovered uh, here on Earth because a solar eclipse happened and we were able to do a, a, uh, a experiment with a spectroscope and they were able to identify the element helium in the, in the sun before we were able to do it uh, here on Earth, which is kind of a rare and um, I think it's the only element that was discovered Interesting. Uh, on an, out in space before Earth. Okay, helium. Good to know. Today's also, you know, you bring up how rare it is. It's a perfect opportunity to inspire and encourage kids, teens who are interested in sciences and STEM. How can teachers and parents kind of foster that curiosity today? Yeah, I think I think this is where the eclipse itself does all the talking. I think if you get a, a student or a child out there and you got your glasses, obviously, you get your shades on. Oh, yeah. Oh, looking good, Science Bob. Me Thank too. You. Me Thank too. You. Yeah, you get, get yes. these approved solar glasses on. Yes. Then I think the sun takes over and that will speak louder uh, than anything else. So just getting them out there. And like I said, it's going to probably be a little cloudy here in Texas, but we're going to be in the middle of the day and then it's going to suddenly get dark. And you, that is an event in itself. I was reading that Fredericksburg, Texas is an international dark sky community, one of fewer than 40 in the world. I mean, that's going to be a big deal. You'll be there with Bill Nye, the science guy, too. Uh, you're a VIP. I like it. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're super excited. The, scar, the scars last night, it was clear, was amazing. Well, I know you're going to have a ton of fun. Thank you, Science Bob, for joining us today. Uh, we really appreciate it. To find out when the eclipse peaks in your area, everybody, go to science.nasa.gov and then enter your zip code. Thanks, Science Bob. Go watch it. Go watch it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.